Uh, the owner has actually done this himself and he got this result. Oh, there we go. Nope. Woo, this thing is flying. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and Al. My name is Max and today we've got a very special Mercedes AMG E63 S. A lot has been done to this car as you can see. It has a very cool wrap, it has some cool lights, it has different wheels, carbon fiber splitter, all kinds of cool stuff and it's not stuck under the hood anymore as well. So today I'm going to show you around it, show you all the cool stuff on it. Then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. Before we continue with this video, I just want to tell you about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, which is an RPG game for your mobile phone or desktop. Click the special link in the description to check it out. It's a turn-based RPG game, but there's a lot of strategic gameplay involved, which actually makes it interesting next to the fact that it looks sick. Battle clan bosses with your teammates, PvP versus other players, or go to campaign mode with sort of a storyline. But my favorite part about this game is the graphics. It looks absolutely insane for a mobile game. And where most of these RPG games are like very cutesy with forest elves and unicorns, this is dark fantasy and realism. You can unlock an immense amount of different champions, which all look really cool. Uh, they all have different skills, they all have different attributes, and you can upgrade them using silver. So if you use the special link in the description, you will receive 50,000 silver and a special epic champion to start your journey as part of the new player program. So go check it out and enjoy the video. All right, so let's start with the way it looks because it has a very special wrap, which sort of changes color if you walk around it. I guess if the light changes, the color changes as well, which is really cool. And as I said, it has these really cool daytime running lights, which are, well, sort of a yellow orangey right now and a blue, but you can actually code this to be any color you want or a lot of different colors at least. Stock, this is just, this is just how it is. And the owner just went into the computer and changed a couple of things and he got this result. I think it looks really cool. As you can see, it also has some darker headlights. Uh, it has a carbon fiber front splitter, which makes the front look really aggressive with these little winglets. Always very cool. Black logo. And some very special wheels. Very aggressive and with a sort of a copper bronze color, which fits this color really well. Uh, they are wheel force wheels wheel force germany and they are 20 inch behind that carbon ceramic brakes by amg yay carbon fiber mirror caps carbon fiber side thingy carbon fiber side skirts uh, carbon fiber spoiler and a very cool e63s badge the exhaust is stock but it does start with the valves open so I know this is quite an extreme car, looks wise, but you guys can rate it in the top right corner from one to five, let us know what you think, and then elaborate in the comments why you have voted the way you have voted. You can also follow the owner, 700 horsepower underscore E63S on Instagram. But it actually has 788 horsepower. So we'll take a look at the engine. The 4 liter V8 by turbo with the turbos in the hot V, 612 horsepower stock, 850 newton meters. This right now with just an ECU tune has 788 horsepower and 1025 newton meters. Just a remap, how crazy is that? And it really performs well. Uh, the owner has actually done this himself. So he has tuned his own car, which is pretty cool. It is dark gray. Not anymore. Used to be dark gray. So on the inside, 
uh, we don't have anything special really. We have the regular seats, so not the performance seats, but these seats are much better, way more comfortable. Carbon fiber trim all around, and he has installed a V8 bi-turbo 4Matic Plus badge on the dash, which looks pretty cool. Other than that, you know, we've got an AMG steering wheel, and that's about it. It's just a regular E63S, not as extreme as on the outside. So let's take it for a drive. We'll start it up. Yeah, that's your quintessential AMG 4 liter bi turbo sound. All right, so let's see what this car is like because 788 horsepower is a lot especially since it's a little bit damp but of course we've got that formatic plus system which i will demonstrate right now so we're in race mode that means that we can just brake and floor it for launch control race start oh there we go <laughs> That was four wheel spin and the car decided, nope, not going to happen. Okay, we'll try that again because when it hooks up, it is absolutely mental. Nope, doesn't want to play right now. Uh, we actually did a couple of launches earlier and we managed to do a 3.060 to 100 in these conditions, which is really, really fast. Stock, it does 3.4 seconds. So that is, I mean, in these conditions, that is a massive step up. So we don't really doubt the fact that it has 788 horsepower because it is, well, it's almost a bit Larry because with this amount of power and as you could see I was you know I had four wheel spin so that means that when you accelerate out of a corner a little bit too enthusiastically the same will happen oh man you can actually hear the turbo turbos when you let off the throttle nice wastegate sound some exhaust sound Woo! so aggressive and it's been lowered as well so you do feel that it's a little bit closer to the tarmac i've got the suspension in sport plus mode as well It is, it is, it's on edge, this car. The tune is really aggressive as well. I don't know how that's possible, but the tune feels really, really aggressive. So let's see what this beast feels like on the Autobahn, because it's just a little bit too quick for a regular B-Road. Uh, yep, still quite a lot of wheel spin there. It is, it's very, very powerful. Here we go. 100 to 200. We managed to do a 6.55 run, which is seriously impressive. That is almost as fast as an AMG GTR Pro. I mean, look at this. This thing is flying. 307, I think that was also the limiter. Not going to overtake these cars at that speed. But my God, that was easy. Just keeps going. shift so it's super 
super stable. The sound is, yeah, that's the limiter, 3.7. Man, that's easy. <laughs> so again, we really don't doubt that this car has 788 horsepower. It is insanely fast. But the tune is really, really good. I mean, I can't believe that the owner did this himself. I mean, he's quite skilled because there are no weird hitches, glitches, nothing. It, it's super smooth and insanely fast. And we've talked about the potential that, that sits in this engine, the, the C63 as tuned versions we've driven, you know, we've driven quite a few of them with 620 horsepower. It's super easy to get there. But with this one, I mean, stock 612 horsepower with just a remap, 788 horsepower. That's insane. So the potential in this E63 version of the 4 liter V8 by turbo is even larger than with the C63. And if you compare it to its arch nemesis, the M5, the BMW M5 competition, you actually see that the potential is quite comparable because with a remap, an M5 also goes to 780 horsepower, so it's pretty crazy how much there still is in these engines. I mean, they are already massively powerful, but with a remap, it's mental. So Bart, thanks a lot for boring us your car. You have tuned it really well, quite impressive. Uh, to you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking this button right here. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you at the next one. Bye.